Thank you, Gatase Singers. Today we are dedicating an edition of Eight Born Memorial Bricks. And again, I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to the memorial, be it money, time, or effort, especially John Welk for installing the bricks. Thanks again to our tribal council. Okay, as we read the past and present veterans on this memorial wall, we're dedicating it on all the way back to warrior ancestors forward to the present. Total of 284 memorial bricks of 297 veterans. We'll now be reading off the eight names, a drum beat after each one to honor them. We'd like the families of each one to stand to recognize each veteran. So I'll even be seated for now and as we uh, call the name out, you can stand for your, if you're related to them, any of your ancestors. Okay, we'd like to start off with Joanne Shedler, our financial officer, be explaining about the Civil War veterans. First of all, on the back of your flyer, I have put the names, and the first name is not a Civil War veteran, but I forgot that I cut off his name. His name is Harvey L. Craning. Um, anyway, then the last Six bricks, starting with Alexander Adams, is going to be um, our Civil War veterans again. We have over 50 Civil War veterans, and each year our, our group is trying to put the bricks here because we know a lot of their headstones were never placed or they've died in battle, and we for, you, know, you forget about you know that. So we will uh, eventually have all of their names up here and then try to also replace and put down all their headstones. Native American service during the Civil War is little known. An estimated five to 600 Native Americans from the Badger State out of a total of na a Native population of 9,000 joined the Union Army during the Civil War. Native Americans were not U.S. citizens at that time and were not called on to enlist at when they first started. The Civil War started, they thought it was going to be over with within six months, and they only had 75,000 people uh, volunteer. But of course, it went on from 1861, from April of 1861, all the way into the end of 1865. Five men were among the first Native Americans enlisted in the state of Wisconsin that were Mohegan veterans. On June 15, 1861, these five men joined, and we're going to be reading their names when we come along. Thank you. All right, uh, the, the names of the Civil War veterans are Alexander Adams, Union Army, Civil War. He joined in 15th of June, 1861, until uh, the 10th of June, 1864. He was in the 3rd Infantry, Company A, and he was released for disability. He had joined in, in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Okay, Woody Davids. I'm going to read off the Davids family. Henry Davids and John Davids, Union Army Civil War, 15 June 1861 to 18 July 1865, 3rd Infantry Company A, Stockbridge. Okay, Bobby Miller, Vice Commander. <clears throat> Jefferson Fiddler, Union Army Civil War, June 15th, 1861 to 11th November, 1862. Third Infantry Company A, wounded, 
Cedar Mount, Virginia, Stockbridge. I think Bob's calling me because I'm related to Welch's. Uh, Jeremy Welch, Union Army Civil War, 15th June 1861 to 11th of July 1861. He was uh, injured and then he came back again and rejoined the 13th of February 1864 all the way to the 18th of July 1865 and that was in the 3rd Infantry Company A. He joined in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Next name will be uh, by the first vice commander, Greg Dupek. Joseph L. Chicks, Union Army Civil War, enlisted 8 September 